The next thing that we want to talk about is the AutoCAD point versus the Civil 3D Kogo point. Now to do this, let's just take a look real quick at an example in our Civil 3D drawing file that we've been working in. We'll start by typing in point and just placing a point. Now this point is an AutoCAD point. You may not even be able to see it on your screen. It's just a tiny dot. Now we are able with the AutoCAD point to change the way that it looks. And to do that, we would type P type. And we can make it look like the X marker, similar to our Civil 3D Kogo points. And if I run a regen command, it updates the size just based on the setting in P type. So AutoCAD points have some control over the look, but not much. They also only have an X, Y, and Z position and some basic AutoCAD properties. The Civil 3D point, on the other hand, has much more information. So it's got a marker and it's got a label. The label can be dragged around the label can be rotated and many other different things to make it look how you want for your survey plan. We'll also see in the properties palette that the Civil 3D point can have a name. It has a point number and a description. It has its own style, marker and label style, and they can be set individually. Unlike the AutoCAD point, where if we were to place multiple, it has one and only setting for the P-type. So you're very limited with an AutoCAD point. So let's look at just a quick summary of the difference in the AutoCAD point and the Civil 3D point. The AutoCAD point can have an X, Y, Z coordinate just like the Civil 3D point and in the basic AutoCAD properties. But the Civil 3D Koga point can have a name, number, and descriptions. It can have user-defined properties, which we'll talk about in a future session. And it can also have mathematical expressions used to calculate numbers um, that can be used to store data in that point. They can have different marker and label styles. And they can be stored in a survey database for reference by multiple files. And we can also generate the automated line work from the survey database as we did in the previous session.